New fantasy video games, new fantasy adaptations, fantasy adaptations cancelled. This is another episode of Fantasy News, and without any further ado, let's jump into the news. Getting this rather disappointing news up and out of the way right away, the Tolkien estate has come forth and said they did not approve or participate in the Tolkien biopic that is soon to be released. The Tolkien estate has had a rather tumultuous relationship with the usages of Tolkien and Lord of the Rings in the past couple of decades. Swearing that no Lord of the Rings adaptation would happen again, obviously reneging on that adaptation with what is happening with Amazon, and now trying to pull away from this latest biopic. I'm sad to hear that this is, again, having controversies. I don't know who's at fault or what really the larger problem is, but I just wish with all my heart that the Lord of the Rings and the Tolkien estate could just enjoy what is Middle Earth without these controversies that seem to be haunting the estate. In happier news, James Wan, noted horror director, is getting his shot at a Stephen King adaptation, something many horror fans and fanatics could only dream of doing. Most recently, he's notably directed Aquaman, which was a step outside of his typical comfort zone, but with Salem's Lot being his next project, he seems to be returning to his roots, and I'm excited to see what his interpretation of a Stephen King adaptation would look like. I wonder how many Stephen King's adaptation that is. I think it's closer to 10 than not. And in Back to Back, posted in the Fantasy News channel in the Discord server, which is hilarious, John Boyega claims that The Rise of Skywalker, the newest Star Wars movie, may just be his last Star Wars film. But at the same time, Kathleen Kennedy says, Ray, Poe, and Finn may come back for future Star Wars movies. One, contradicting direct statements from John Boyega, and two, spoiling that they live through the rise of Skywalker. Thanks. And John Boyega may not be planning to return for Star Wars anytime soon, but that being said, you know, they might offer him money. In I Can't Believe This News, the Highlander reboot is still theoretically in development, but might shift into being a TV series. Not necessarily a good sign that they're not sure about the adaptation format yet, but it still might be happening, so I'm excited for Highlander fans. It has also been confirmed in adaptation news that there will be two Dune movies, not one. Interesting. Back to true fantasy book news, the latest book cover from Brandon Sanderson has been dropped, and it is for the second book in the Skyward series, Starsight. I know not many of my fans are big YA readers, but Skyward is a very easy to read, fun, pulpy adventure for people of all ages. I think it's just, just camp, just fun camp. So if you're interested in Brandon, I do recommend it. It has been confirmed that a CG Star Trek TV show is in the works for Nickelodeon. And I actually think this is kind of my biggest hope to see great Star Trek again. Now, don't get mad at me saying that. The Picard show I'm nervous about because once again, it's being handled by people who have shown me not to trust them with their adaptations so far. I don't really like Discovery and I think it largely forgets what Star Trek is. I have hope that because Patrick Stewart is involved with the new live adaptation going on, he could steer it back in the right direction. But I'm not 100% confident. That being said, I don't believe a kid's show needs to capture the depth and nuance that original Star Trek was, or even Next Generation. What it needs to do is just help encourage kids get into science and be curious about the universe out there. And a Star Trek kid's show would pretty much be guaranteed, no matter who's helming it, to have that objective. And if it's able to convince some kids to get interested in science, that's great Star Trek to me. In very disappointing Westeros news, the Game of Thrones prequel in the works over at HBO has officially been canceled. I'm sorry, Game of Thrones fans, but it seems that HBO might be pulling back from having a whole lot more Westeros in the future. And in actually surprising news, Elijah Wood has come out and expressed some concerns over the Amazon adaptation of Lord of the Rings. I highly recommend you read this full article. When I first read the headline, I assumed he'd be taken out of full context, but he raises legitimate questions about the adaptation over at Amazon, and it's certainly worth checking out. Now, I know I just probably disappointed many Westeros fans, but don't worry, book fans. George R. R. Martin has confirmed that unicorns will be in the book The Winds of Winter, and Honestly, if there's if there's anything that can be be just amazing to see Martin take his stab at, 
Unicorns was not what I expected, and it's something I'm certainly <laughs> excited to see what he brings to that. In kind of light fantasy news, a new Sonic the Hedgehog trailer has dropped. My opinion on this new trailer can be expressed as this. No. From the creators of Sherlock, a new Dracula series is in the work over at BBC. Now, many people did believe that the final season of Sherlock did jump the shark, and I do largely agree with that assessment. Hopefully, these showrunners have learned their lesson, and this Dracula series will be a grounded, dark, gritty, character-driven, interesting take on an iconic classic character. For my Harry Potter fans out there, Fantastic Beasts 3 has been set to release in fall of 2021. Now, now, there's already some controversy around this story, and I believe the news I reported on last time here as Green Without a Knee Daniel uh, was actually a bit old, the whole Johnny Depp possibly being removed from his role. But there has not been a definitive yes or no in recent months after some recent resurgence of the story, to say the least. In great news for fantasy, at least in my opinion, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost will be taking their stab at adapting fantasy with The Rivers of London, a fantasy epic from Ben Arvaravich. Sorry. And in your last bit of fantasy news today, two trailers dropped for Will Smith's Gemini and the latest Godzilla King of Monsters trailer. What did you think of the fantasy news today? I'm trying to find the balance between expressing my opinions on stories, but also just getting the news to you as quickly and concisely as possible. Please let me know in the comments down below which you wish for me to lean more towards. I try to just find a balance of giving my opinions the ones I have a lot of opinion on, or maybe some ones I have some funny takes. It's an intricate balance, and I just want hopefully, people to enjoy the show while also just getting the information as quickly and conveniently as I can. Also to the bot on Daniel Green's Discord server that has been responsible for posting new videos, you're a bad bot, you're often late, and you should do better. You're a bot, damn it! it's just a simple post. Thank you mods, as always, for doing a great job, and thank you patrons for supporting the channel, fantasy news, and what I do here. Have a good one, y'all. Peace! Special shout out to my latest high tier patron, Christopher Baltwell. Batwell, Batwell, Batwelly. I'm gonna go with Batwell, Batwell. I'm gonna go with Batwell. And Pips is currently sitting on the windowsill looking at me funny. So there's that as well.